What's up guys? Dr. Fitty here. I'm going to just do some tutorial videos for REWSD. This software does so much and I want you to be able to do so much too. So I'm going to just kind of break right into it because otherwise I keep finding myself droning on. I'm going to just tell you some quick things real fast at the beginning of this before I break into this. I'm going to do a couple videos to try and make them short. That way if you want to see how to do something in particular, you can just jump on that video. First thing is, I don't work for REWSD and they don't pay me. So if you don't like what I said or anything like that, it's not on them. Please don't bring it to them. They're not involved with this. I simply told them that I would do some tutorial videos and it's simply because I love the software and I love those guys. They're awesome. You know, they work real hard to make the software up to, I mean, just the Nintendo controller comes out, boom, they're already here with the Nintendo controller support. So which I don't have one, but I'm going to buy one just so I can do some binds and uh, try and help some people make sure stuff's real up to par. So let's get right into this. The first thing I do is you have to remember that inputs are inputs. So if you're trying to do two inputs at the same time, it's going to cause problems unless you have it set up properly to do that. So what I do is I just unbind everything uh, first things first. The PlayStation controller is much less supported than the Xbox controller. so. I kind of just like to factor all that out right now. A lot of the times I'll just remap the controller as, you know, all Xbox buttons or nowadays I pretty much go pure mouse and keyboard no matter what with my inputs because I get just the best input and the most control with those options. And then basically I just tell the game like, hey, I don't even have a controller plugged in, man. Don't worry about it. It's just mouse and keyboard. So, you know, those inputs are all true true to it so what i'm doing right now is just unbinding everything just please i want to note don't unbind your playstation button you can unbind the xbox button it seems to have no no real bearing over anything it's still you know will kick your controller right on if you unbind this you can't turn your controller on and you can't repair it so don't do it uh you can open up like a shift overlay here whereas if you would have to do something in order to trigger this button you could then you can unbind it if you really wanted to i just don't recommend it i don't I don't see the necessity. I could get more buttons on this controller than any game could possibly even want to use, including like a full keyboard so I could type with it if I really wanted to. So that's, you know, that's all totally up for debate. Uh, this thing works as like a little janky mouse too. I kind of like it on occasion. So I, I very rarely like some games that have free look via the mouse. You know, you can just kind of rub your thumb on it and look all over the place. So here we go. I'm all unbound right here. You can see the first thing I'm going to do this real quick, and this is going to be, you know, my WSD on my mouse. So I'm going to come over here real quick. I'm going, to, I'm going to click this right here. Mind you, since I'm using the mouse, these all do take effect. This stuff right here, I can't, I can't do the Excel and the uh, initial speed. My mouse is cranked up to 16,000 DPI. So like, since the game is pulling my mouse, basically, see this? It's, it's going to, you know. It's gonna be fast. So that mouse acceleration is like a fat joke. At least when I'm trying to play, it's like going through a light speed tunnel when I turn. So I'm gonna stop right here. This is how I start. I'm all unbound. I'm ready to start making a plan on how I want to bind this up. So uh, hold on. Make sure we save. Uh, right now I'm not remapped. So if I was to hit apply or click this here, it would just map this all to my controller, and then boom, my controller is this. Obviously, I have no buttons on here. Terrible idea. So. I'm going to see you guys hopefully in the next video and we're going to get stuff bound up. 